Today we want to look at uh, valve swabbing. So under valve swabbing, we would like to clean the valve of this lady, Mrs. Zamlenga, because she has uh, vaginal secretions. So she has an infection of the valve. So we want to make sure that uh, we clean. So how do we clean? So there's a technique that we use, which is um, under the procedure called valve swabbing. So we're going to see. So let's start. And washing. So this is for us. So we go to Mrs. Mulenga. Good afternoon, Mrs. Mulenga. I am student number two. I have been assigned to do valve swabbing on you. May I please go ahead? Okay, she has said I should go ahead. Okay. What about where you are sleeping? How is it? Okay, I've seen it. Okay. But then for you to put an ink sheet, you need to wear gloves. It's okay. I've seen it. It's okay there. So, you need to wear gloves. So, before you wear gloves, there's a solution. So, always remember that when the tray is there, there are gloves you need to wear, and there's a solution. You start with a solution before you don't gloves. So, you need to pour. So, you go behind, and the solution should, uh, the label should be in your hand. So, you have to go behind and pour, not crossing the sterile field. Okay? So, you have to put the lid and put back. Then don gloves. So these are just uh, examination gloves which have to done. Thereafter, we need now to ensure that the patient is in dorsal position. So Mrs. Mulenga would like to put um, an inco sheet so you expose this part. Okay, so I want you to see that's why I'm doing this. So she has to go in dorsal, meaning the limbs should be flexed. Okay, this is a dorsal position. Then you place an inco sheet because she's uh, having discharge here, so yeah, you need to wear gloves. So the buttocks are supposed to be lifted. Then you insert or you put the incontinent sheet there. So after that, you can put this bed sheet for privacy. Thereafter, ask for the assistant to expose. Okay, just like that. Then you remove the gloves. And discard. After that, you have to go to scrubbing. So for us, just go in this way, that way. Then you put soap and one, two, then one, two, and from there you go up to your elbows, like that. Then rinse. Okay. So you can dry. So the drying technique, as usual, there are four corners, so you need to start from the fingertips, which is this side, then in between your fingers, and then up to this point. Then second corner, you go behind, fingertips, then in between, then in a circular motion like that, up to the elbow. Third corner, the same, you go to... This palm there, fingertips, in between your fingers, then up to there. Fourth corner, you need to identify which one, it's this one. So you need to go behind, fingertips, in between, then in a circular manner. Okay? Then you get the hand towel and discard. Okay? Like that. So the gliding technique, you hold this part. This is the rope glove. So hold that part, you hold it, then you slide in the finger. So once you do that, you can go to the other glove, then slide in this side. After that, you can now slide in your fingers like that. So this is the part where students contaminate, but you can try to practice this technique. It's very simple. So just practice. So after this, you need now to prepare um, where to put the swabs. So in case you forgot um, the receiver here, because you must have at least two receivers, one for putting the, uh, the, the swabs, then another one for putting, they have to discard the, the used swabs. So in this case, I'll ask my assistant, my assistant bring one receiver so that we have two receivers here. So meanwhile, let me just squeeze. 
So you're not supposed to go and get a receiver. So she will bring using cheetah forceps from a sterile drum. Okay. So that's what you do. So this is a four. You can go up to six. Okay, so you can prepare six swabs. So two, four, six. That's what you can do. Then my assistant kindly exposed the patient for me. So you don't touch the beddings. So I'll just my assistant try to just uh, expose. Okay. So expose my client fully. Okay. Fully up to the bedsheet. Need to expose the valve again. Pull the bedsheet. So that the valve is exposed like that. So your assistant should expose the patient. You're not supposed to touch because you are sterile. So at this moment, you go to the draping. So the, there are three drapes. So you need to get this is number one, like that. Then you start with the furthest. So the furthest in this case is this one. So you go like this, and then you bring it that way. So mostly it's supposed to be diagonal so that it covers this part. So this part goes there okay like that again you pick another one to unfold so from the furthest you go to the abdomen so the abdomen is there you put there then the third drip comes to the nearest so the nearest leg is this one you go diagonally so you go like that then you drip so this is how you drip so there are three drips this uh, leg here the feathers then you go to the abdomen then the nearest so this leaves you with this part here so the the valve is exposed and this part has some drips so don't really fidget with these drips because you'd be considered maybe to be um, contaminating so just leave it like this okay then get a receiver so this is valve swabbing you need to get a receiver then place it in between there so when you place the receiver there then now you can start cleaning. So you need to start picking one swab at a time. So you get this swab. As usual, you drop it here. So again, when cleaning, you start with the feathers. So the feathers here is the, the labia majora. So this labia majora here is the feathers. Then this is the nearest labia majora. Then this is the feathers minora. This is the nearest minora. So you start with the feathers majora. So you get a swab. Then you start up to bottom. So you go like that, okay? So in case you didn't see clearly, you need to start from there, okay? From there to there. So this labi majora, so you top to bottom. So you go like that. So once you are done, one swab, ensure that it's clean. So this is for us to just do one swab, but in the real situation, you have to do until it's clean. Another swab comes nearest labi majora, top to bottom. So top to bottom is this direction. So you have to be very fast when doing this. Then you go to the furthest labia minora. So furthest labia minora is this one here. So that's the one you clean. So you clean also top to bottom. One swab, you throw. Another swab, nearest labia minora. Top to bottom as well, you clean. So there are four swabs used here. Then the last part that you clean on the vulva is the um, uh, introitus. So the introitus is this gap here. So this gap is the last one you clean, but then some used to get a gauze and, and open up, but then sterility is over, so you have to just go and uh, get it. When you get it, you're supposed to just get a swab and clean the introitus like that, top to bottom. So one swab, top to bottom, then you are done here. So at this moment, in case you left some, um, maybe some several dripping, you can even dry. Just outside, just to make sure that it's dry, and throw. So, the other side now, the last swab, you're going to clean, you're going to clean the, the anal region there. So, you're going to ask the patient to bend, or you, with your assistant to bend the patient. So, you're going to do it this way. You ensure that the patient bends this other side. And then, you clean, just with one swab, this area here. You clean from there to there, at least up to the anal region, one swab, then you discard. At this moment, you can even place a pad. 
So that's the last thing you do now. You place a pad, remove the ink sheet. So you place a pad there because there are secretions, meaning you're done. So you can even remove the drips and start giving IEC. So thank you very much, Mrs. Uh, Mulenga, for allowing me to do this procedure. I'm doing this procedure so that um, you, you remain clean and so that you remove uh, the odor from the secretions. So allow the nurses to clean so that you are kept clean. So after that, you have to leave the patient comfortable, meaning you have to call your assistant to make the bed and all that. But in OSC, just uh, stretch like this and then go to the ward in charge to say that um, my in charge, I have uh, done valve swabbing on Mrs. Mulenga and I've left him, I've left her comfortable. And IEC has been given. So you have to do that documentation done so that you earn marks. Lastly, you do your hand washing. Don't forget about hand washing because it earns you two marks. Okay, so you do one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay. So at this point, you are done. Then you have to get hand towel and dry. So thank you very much for watching. Keep uh, watching and practicing so that you get acquainted with the procedure. Thank you.